Hello, and welcome to the glamorous world of television. This is Round the Bend, the world's first electronic video comic. And I'm Doc Croc, your lovable and kindly editor. <coughs> Cracking me, there's rainwater in my frog shake. And my scripts are soaked, I can't read them. Ta-da! That reminds me, what's the wettest animal in the world? A reindeer. <laughs> uh, Vincent, my old son, it's bad enough that we live in a leaky sewer and it's been raining non-stop for three weeks without your stupid cretinous jukes. What a load of rubbish you talk, Doc. Oh, shut it, sock breath. And here's Michael Fish with today's weather. Good evening. The current hot, dry, sunny spell will continue for at least another week. And with our usual pinpoint accuracy, I can state that there is absolutely no danger of thunderstorms or anyone being struck by lightning. Batman, stout defender of justice. Hugham City is in the grip of a crime wave. The Penguin Biscuit has raided the chocolate factory. Cat Person has emptied the pet store. And Sanitary Man has cleaned out the town drains. But the question on everyone's lips is, where is the weighty wonder, Fat Man? <laughs> Triple half pound with everything. And a side order of lard. Fat Man, help. <clears throat> Every crook in the world is on the loose. Nat Woman and her killer fleas, the psycho chef and his deadly donuts, Jason Donovan. Call it, call it, Chief. Join me in a tub of chocolate chip piece pudding, why don't you? I don't think we'd fit. Oh. But what are you going to do about the crime wave? I'm in constant contact with my partner, Dobbin, the toy wonder. Dobbin to Fat Man, I found the crooks. Have they spotted you? Nay. Uh, I'll be right there. Um, uh, triple garlic pizza to go, please. They're on that inconspicuous yacht out there, fat man. Stand back while I go into action. Blobs away. Oh, oh. Ah, crumbs, we're rich. Yeah, oh, wait. The boat is rocking. Ah, ah, well done, fat man. <laughs> you stop that crime wave with a wave of your own. <laughs> And now it's time for our rubbishy record slot. Yeah, it's the number one on the compact disc compost heap. It's Kaylee Manure and Jason Dungovan. Exceptionally poo. This song is quite exceptionally poo. It goes Nicky, Nacky, Nicky, Nucky, New. And some dizzy tum. It really is dumb. Our singing is nearly as bad as our acting. People tell us that we should have packed in years ago. But we don't care. We get on top of the pops. Singing this lap and we go nee, nee, na, na, nu. Exceptionally I got it wrong. Sorry. That's right, you great ding bed of a dung heap. You knee need where you should have nah nah. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of singer are you anyway, you dumb Sheila? Don't you dumb Sheila me, you brainless little blonde blob. I was having hit records when you were still floating around in your neighbour's nephew. You'd be nothing oh, without yeah. me. Absolutely you're nothing. You're like a, a bit of cow diarrhea. That's your problem. Honestly, and there's a flood warning just coming in. A spokesman at the Metropolitan Weather Centre said due to the heavy rain there is some danger of flooding, but there is no need to worry as it will be some hours before... These are the voyages of the Starship Renderprise. This week, The Thing. Ship's log, Stardate Pancake Tuesday. The captain is missing on the planet of polystyrene rocks. We are beaming down to look for him. Spread out and search, man, and beware. The props are very cheap and might break. Okay, Sock, let's comb the area. Jing's bones, I left my bunny wee hairbrush on the ship. Mr. Sock, over here, I have found something. By the wet black nose of Pluto, Mr. Crewman one-liner, what could it be? Could it be from Mars or round trees? Don't shoot, Bones. I shall try to communicate with it through my amazingly mental powers. Oh, it looks like I spot him with rabies. I'm getting something. This is some sort of parasitic life form. It lives upon another being, a sort of bulbous blob creature with the brain of a moose. Face is ready. It could be nearby. It wants to go back. Back to the grotesque, blubbery horror that owns it. The aging, bad-tempered lump that bought it... All right, all the... right. Put a sock in it, sock. I've heard enough. Jings, Captain, you're bald. <laughs> Give me back my wig. <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for it. Okay, beat me up, Spotty. 
No, no, I said beam me up, not beat me up. Oh. oh. That is illogical, Captain Burke. Oh, shut your face, donkey ears. Great, okie dokie, mate, troops. We all heard the recent flood warning, and we're prepared for the worst. Oh, no, not the Vince telling jokes again. No, 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 no. I know it's hard to imagine, but it could be even worse than that. Now, Vincent, my old son, just in case of extreme emergency, I want you to build us a boat. Oh, goody, we're going sailing. Can I be the captain? You can be the anchor if you don't get on with it. Uh, now, let's go over the emergency flood drill once again, shall we? If the water starts to raise, A will sound this alarm. You two will then immediately race over, grab hold of me, and hold me out of the water to stop my precious tootsies getting wet. I built a boat, boss. How'd you like it? Vincent, I have seen more active brains than yours on a butcher's counter. Oh. It's useless. Far too small. And the boat is very little as well. Well, I did build a bigger boat, but it's full of leaks. OK, boys. Cast off. Cheerio, lad, lad. And that's behind. <laughs> I don't know why you're worrying, actually. These flood barriers we built will keep out the rising waters. See, we will be perfectly safe. We will be as bug as a snug in a zniggly snug. Yeah, yeah, very cosy. No way any flood water can get in here. Hello, we got visitors. Who's there? Walter! Walter who? Walter Fall! Vincent, my old son, whatever you do, don't open that door. Oh! Oh! Bed, chips. Oh, it's time for bed. Just leave me alone, will you? I'm just thick and tired of people telling me how to live my life. You, Dad, the neighbours, people interfering, busybodies. You just won't accept that I've got a mind of my own. Just get off my back, will you? But, Chip, you're only six weeks old. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Dad. Good night, kissy kissy. Oh, Joe, I think I'm going to pieces. No, love. Your skin's just peeling a bit. No, Joe, it's... it's all these problems. Aunt Beatty's done a runner with a bean. Mr Satsuma has joined a strange religious cult. Our red neighbour has been arrested for spying. Colin Cucumber's having trouble with his ants. And Chips has gone cookie. And our other son, Carrot Top, well, he's a vegetable. I just can't cope. Oh, hush. Don't be mushy, my little baby carrot. Hey, look, we've still got each other. And at least nothing worse can happen. Attention, do not move, Earth dwellers. We are the killer cannibal cabbages from the planet Sauerkraut. Cuckoo! Prepare yourselves to be kidnapped and turned into salad. Get dressed and come with us. Cuckoo! <laughs> Oh, I'm going down. Oh, okay, I need to hang on to a useless bit of driftwood. Oh. Preferably something that's full of air. Oh. Vincent, get over here, now. Oh. Oh. Hey, Doc, I think you should take a bath. What's in you, cheeky rodent? I scrubbed my arm pitch just last week. No, Smell. no, 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 look what the water hey. washed up. Get in here. Oh, great, great. Oh, oh. oh my God. Oh, oh. oh. oh my God. Saved. We are saved, Vincent. Oh. What a hideously horrifying oh, experience. Don't worry. Doc, we're safe. Oh. At least nothing worse can happen to us now. Vincenzo, oh. Doc, look out! What is it? Ah! Ah! Shock! The strange tales of Psycho the Magnificent. Ah, what a beautiful day for I, Psycho the Magnificent, to take a stroll in the park. Hey, can't you read? Not walking on the grass. Very well, I will drive across it in this tank. Uh, <laughs> stop! You're killing my daffodils! No, no, don't worry, sir. With my magical powers, I can bring them back to life again. Well, thank goodness for that. This time, as man-eating marigolds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Help! Get them away from me! Oh, dear, no, you mustn't climb that tree. You're breaking your own rules. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lovely old dog. Bring him back. Bring him back. Very well, if you insist, sir. There you are. Ah! Oh. Now, I don't suppose you'll mind if I feed the ducks? No. <laughs> to my pet killer whale. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. Oh! <laughs> you know I've enjoyed myself here so much that I'm thinking of bringing my pet Rover. Yeah, well, just you watch it. Dogs are to be kept on a lead. Oh, that's all right. Rover isn't a dog. <laughs> oh, 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 dear. Sounds like the police. Time. I rode into the sunset. <laughs> oh, I'm going nowhere. Oh. Yes, you are. You're coming with us. Come in, number 66. Your time is up. What? Ah. Next week, Psycho turns himself into a plank of wood and gets a job presenting children's BBC TV programmes. 
Oh, here is a news flash. The International Diving Championships have been called off due to the pool being flooded. A spokesman said, Arg, help, I'm drowning. This is John Potato in the Newsround studio returning you to your regularly scheduled puddle. A program. Oh. Who? I can't go on. This heat, the hunger, the thirst, the terrible company, and this endless, endless water. How long have we been drifting here like this? Uh, about ten minutes, Doc. Oh. I can't stand it. How will we get food? We could starve to death. Oh, I'm not worried, Vincent. They've got a handy food supply. Oh, goody, where is it? Where have you hidden it, you sly old crook? Hidden it? I'm looking at it, Vincent, my old son. <laughs> uh, perhaps I should tell you some jokes to while away the time. Yes. Uh, what's got four legs and flies? A dead cat. Oh, no, <laughs> stop anything but that. <laughs> Don't panic, everybody. I've been studying this old map. There's some sort of emergency drainage valve down below. Now, if we could get to it and open it up, maybe all the waters would drain away. Excellent. Yeah? Yeah. Now, all we need is someone willing to risk their life by diving below. A volunteer. A volunteer? Well said, Vincent. I knew you'd come through. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't swim. Oh, that's OK. We only need someone who can sink. Help! Get in now. Help! Help! Stubby Broccoli and Samuel J. Greengrocer present The Attack of the Atomic Banana. In the forbidden Egyptian city of Citrus, archaeologist Indiana Joan has violated the tomb of the god Fruit and Common, unleashing a mystical lust fruit basket of the pharaohs. But that's going on in another film, Indiana Joan and the Temple of Prunes. And don't you wish you were watching that? Anyway, back at our crummy movie, Professor Brainsley Noggin, perhaps the one man who can save the Earth, is about to be eaten alive by the giant atomic banana, raw, without even a spot of cat. Well, oh, I don't worry, Professor. Why not? We'll do it for you. Okay. Oh, boy, why worry? Fred, Fred, I really Fred, Fred, worry. Stay back. Stay back. back. There's only one chance. Open those doors behind you. I'll try tickling him to keep him occupied. Goochie, <laughs> 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 me laugh. Oh, that's a little dead there. Now, activate the power source inside. Uh, you may have to put 50 cents in the meter first. Wow, just look off. I ain't never seen it's nothing awesome. like that. Oh, uh, oh. come up and peel there sometime. Wow, hot diggity surfboarding transistor radio 3D bikinis. It's a freaky female banana. Curses, I have crumpled my calculations. Professor, what's going on here? I believe your radioactive banana has been subconsciously looking for another of his own kind, a mate. And luckily, by one of those amazing coincidences that happen in stupid films, like this, I had built a female Bananasaurus robot. You mean? Yes, my creation and your banana will embrace and walk off into the sunset together and we'll all live happily ever after. Oh, no, what a baby not be. She really lost her head over him. Crazy mixed up fruit salad. She's really got to pieces. Completely cracked up. As an expert on the psychology of fruit, I can say, in my professional opinion, as a leading scientist, that that banana is, to use a technical phrase, a bit cross. This is so exciting, what more can I say? I could say, bing, bang, boo, don't put your underpants in the jam jar, Mr. Puzzle's weight, but instead, I'll say, be here next week on the final thrilling installment of Attack of the Atomic Banana! Well, Vincent, my old son, you're ready for your heroic mission. Lucky I had this diving suit, hmm? Where'd you get it? Same place I got my extra belly button, the naval sotler store. <laughs> now make sure you pump plenty of air to me. Keep in touch through the speaking tube. Pull me back up if I give two tugs on the line, and I want some sandwiches. Uh, yes, I uh, must uh, have uh, sandwiches. Will you <laughs> shut up and get on with it, Vincent? Well, I name this rat pathetic. God bless you and every flea that sails on you. Goodbye, Vincent. Good luck. Yes, goodbye. Yeah. Oh. oh. Hmm. Not as deep as I thought. <laughs> ah! Oh. <sighs> it's not bad down here. A bit wet, mind. <laughs> I'm having a whale of a time. <laughs> Oh, look where I am. That reminds me, I haven't done my joke spot this week. <laughs> Vincent, no, not now. Oh, it'll only take a minute, dog. Besides, you can't stop me now. Thank you.
underwater audience. Here, I can see a sinking ship, and it's shaking. Must be a nervous wreck. <laughs> what do you get if you plug your foot into a light socket? An electric eel. Whoops, what fish repairs pianos? A tuna. <laughs> Why are whales clever? Because they hang around in schools. <laughs> What's eight foot long, green, with big teeth, and cuts off your air? Oh, I don't know that one, Doc. What is it? Me, if you don't get a move on. Oh, uh, keep your air on. And keep my air on. <laughs> Thank you, and good night. Off I go to save the day. Oh, dear. Was I right to rely on that rubbish-brained rodent? Mm, Vincent probably couldn't find a hole in his own string vest. See, si, he could not find a noodle in a haystack. I found it, Doc. I've found the drainage valve. It looks like a great big chain with a handle on the end. There's a sign on it. It says, in case of flood, pull hard. What shall I do, Doc? Hmm. Now, let me think, Vincent. Um, pull it, you moron! <laughs> My ears! <laughs> OK, here goes. We did it! We're saved! The waters are going down! Go. Hooray! Well done, Vincent. You've done it. You've done it. Uh, much to my amazement, I must confess. Now, come on up. They've got something for you. Oh, great, thanks. What is it, Doc? <laughs> it's a surprise. Come on up. Uh, let's see. I'll give him the mop, then the bucket. Round the Bend proudly presents Nursery Crimes. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her into a shop, which was a big mistake. The shop, it was a butcher's, and the lamb became a steak. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Tommy's magic time trousers. And as you can see, children, the leaning tower of Pizza really does lean to one side. How weird! I wonder how it came to be like that. Well, let's go back to the 13th century when it was built and find out. Hey, Tommy? OK, trousers. I'll just pull you on. <laughs> Tally ho, and away we go. The fly's the limit. <laughs> Brace yourself, Tommy. And the stealer say it's your turn to get the lunch today. You must be crazy, your Renaissance nitwit. I picked up the pizzas yesterday, and I'm not walking Oh, hello. It looks as if we've landed in the middle of an argument, trousers. Hey, I think I know how to settle it. Hey, look, fellas, fellas. I reckon the best way to settle this is by tossing a coin. What? I'll toss it up, and one of you shouts heads, OK? See, si, OK. I'm going to shout the heads. No, I'm going to shout the heads. Oh, oh shout no. Shout trousers, it's, it's gone over the side. Oh. Can anybody see where it landed? Oh, don't run to the side. The foundations aren't finished yet. The tower might... Oh, poor oh, oh, Well, time I pulled you down, trousers. Come on, back to class. Oh, hurry up, Tommy. Hurry up. Phew, made it. Tommy, are you paying attention? Have you been listening to what I've been saying about the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Uh, beg your pardon, sir. Oh, you were miles away, boy. <laughs> if only he knew, Tommy, hey? If only he knew. Oh, this is just typical. I'll save you all, and this is the thanks I get. Put to mopping up the mess with Jemima and Lou. They didn't save the day. I did. You should erect a statue to me. Vaudeville Vince Vermin, the hero of the sewer. You should have seen me. It was magnificent, the way I pulled that chain. I could have been a rat dessert in the sinking ship, but no, not me. If it wasn't for me, you'd all be in Davy Jones's locker by now. If Davy Jones would have you. Oh, shut it, Vincent. I'm sick of the sound of your voice. Do you know that now? Clear off for a few minutes. Get out of my sight. You can work late to make up for it. Haven't you got anything to do but complain? Well, I did want a bath to get this muck off me. In fact, I just remembered. I started running one. Oh, great. Well, go off then and hang... Hang on. When did you start running your bath? Oh, about, uh, two hours ago. Vincent, don't you dare open that... Oh! 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 Vincent, you suffer for this! Oh, you my you dare. You oh, no! Oh, and I just washed oh. me air!
You can see more of Doc Crock and Friends in a new fun-packed magazine, The Round the Bend TV Special, available now from all good news agents, priced £1.75. So what did you think of Round the Bend then? Absolutely crazy, yeah. Totally. Brilliant. We've got Mick and Keith back from the band oh, yeah. Seven and you've got a competition for us, haven't you? Yes, we, we have, yeah. Yeah, to win? We've got a couple of t-shirts, some wonderful Seven t-shirts, and we persuaded Keith to give you his very own denim jacket, oh, which we've signed. Brilliant. Go, What's the, the question? Name one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. One of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Send your answers in to me. Jeanne Down, CITV, PO Box 55, Birmingham B1, 2DA. And don't forget to mark your postcards, the seven competition. These are brilliant prizes. They're lovely, brilliant. yeah.